Day 300, they still haven't noticed I'm here. So we're coming into Animal Kingdom, and where's the sign? The one that's like always here, or did they? What else did they change? There's a, there used to be a sign right here, but it wasn't this one. Look, we're in Animal Kingdom. Yeah, this is our like welcome sign. We do it. This is where we do the thing. I like that rings. Really fun and festive. So, so much swag. Swag, swag, swag. There's Pandora. We'll be going over there later. For now, we're heading in. It's so cold over here. It's really chilly. <laughs> life is more like the tree of wind today. Oh my gosh. It's super, super chilly. Bundled up. Park isn't too insane, but it does seem pretty busy. On to Asia, and it is pretty busy. Tony pointed out, like, because it was pouring rain yesterday, probably a lot of people didn't do anything. So they're making up for it today and just wanting to be out even if they are cold. I'm gonna go explore the jungle track because they just had two new little baby tigers. From photos and stuff we've seen online, it looks like they've gotten like really big already, super fast. So we wanna see them while they're still somewhat small and playful and cute. So we're gonna go explore. Just gonna be walking around. All bundled up, all cute. So we remember how frigid it was this time of year. 53 degrees. <laughs> Right there looks like just a straight up deer. Yeah, like, like he doesn't look like he belongs. Or she, I don't know. Day like. 300, they still haven't noticed I'm here. <laughs> She's staring at us like, uh oh, they caught me. I just wandered in off the Florida highways. I made my way down from Georgia. <laughs> I heard the tales of free food at the Disney's Animal Kingdom Resort. Come over here and look at it. Hey, bud. 
This is a full-sized human temple. Look at the size of that bird. Bye. What did you think of the baby tigers? I thought they were super cute. Yeah, that's fun. They were they weren't doing a whole lot, but they were they were sweet. They were just kind of hanging out and I think one was like learning how to roar with its mom because it was like yeah. and then the mom was like meow. <laughs> just like that. It was very cute. <laughs> We're just out here monkeying around. Or chimpanzeeing. The fun ones are way over there, like swinging around. It's workout time. Yeah, he went down and like picked a leaf and now he's eating it. But his friend's trying to steal it. Oh, he sure is. Oh, another one's. It's about to be a monkey fight. Get off my leaf. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, We're getting ready to go on the second wildest ride in the wilderness, Expedition Everest. After Expedition Everest, we came over to Dinosaur Land because we we're looking for a pretzel. We were trying to actually find the jal jalapeno cheese pretzel. Um, we just found a normal one instead. Yeah, it but, was not great. Um, it was ready and put some food in my belly, so yeah. I'm happy about that. Now we're gonna head back towards Safari. The Safari. Um, there's a place back there that has elephant ears, which Lindsay has told me about many a time, but I'm not really aware of it. The food of my people. <laughs> so we're gonna go back and get one of those, and uh, then ride the safari, and then and go see some more elephant ears. <laughs> see some real elephant ears, hopefully. The little baby one. Yeah. He's not this big, by the way. No, he's a whole year old now. Wow. Wow. That was a fast year. So. Anyway. Yeah, so we got across the park all the way to the back corner, so wish us luck. We're waiting in line for the Cusaferi Cafe Coffee and Bakery. Uh, it's right outside Tusker House um, on the way to Safari. I feel like it's new, like I've never heard of it before. Or, or we've just never looked over this way. We're getting an elephant here. It's gonna be like one of these. But bigger. And edible. <laughs> so this is our little snack. We changed from an elephant ear to a cinnamon roll. The elephant ear was not what we thought it was. It was more of a cookie with yeah. dipped in chocolate. Yeah, it's, that's not a cinnamon roll. But yeah, that's not an elephant ear. It's not a cinnamon roll. Yeah, it was just different from what we what we think of as an elephant roll. I'm not saying sorry. I don't feel good at all. Okay, well then let's eat. <laughs> Our cinnamon roll was delicious. Like. I wasn't what I was expecting, like, because like I said, we were looking for the elephant ear, but it was still delicious. Yeah. Like, I'm so glad we got that. Yeah, I would recommend that. We don't eat cinnamon rolls often, so that was like a nice little treat. But when we do, they're awesome. Yeah. Now we're heading over to our fast pass on the safari. Um, yeah, let's go see some animals. Before it gets dark. And scary. Boo! Before we head on into the reserve ride, you have to ask that everyone please remain seated throughout the entire ride. Keep your hands, arms, legs, and feet inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> and this is what's called a bloat of hippos. They will live in groups of about 20 to 30. However, it is not unheard of for them to live in groups of 100 or more. When they are born, they will weigh only about 85 pounds. However, by the time they reach fully grown, they can weigh up to 5,500 pounds. Now they will use those horns as a type of radiator to help keep them cool during the hot summer months out here on the savannah. 
Now there on the right hand side, you can also see that herd of white bearded wildebeest. The name wildebeest literally means wild beast in Afrikaans, and they are the largest migratory animal in the world. You can actually see two spotted hyenas, or a clan of spotted hyenas. Now, hyenas are actually a cl more closely related to cats than they are dogs. However, they are a part of their own family called the Hyena Day. Now, they do actually live in a very unique social structure where the lowest ranking female actually outranks the highest ranking male. Now, you can see mom up here, or what I assume to be mom, because that is a female, as well as two offspring, or two babies that are from the eland. Now, fully grown of Mel Patterson's eland can actually weigh up to 2,000 pounds, stand about six feet tall, and they can actually jump up in the air about eight feet high. Now, up here on the left-hand side, you can actually see them whacking each other with their necks. And this is a behavior called necking. And it actually is a battle of a way of establishing dominance over one another. They will hit each other with both their necks as well as the osicones up on top of their head. The osicones are those little puff balls. And this is a way of establishing dominance over one another. The winner of the battle gets the dominance over the two, as well as gets the girl. <laughs> It doesn't seem very effective though, does it? Oh, what color is training? Way back there. They are the largest of the rhino species, and I think I can actually get us a little bit of a better view. Now, those female lionesses will do the majority of the hunting while the male stays back and guards the pride. Please do not pass your baby back and forth. Go into the lions. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Maggie will be Run up to speeds of 35 miles per hour. They do have very, very poor eyesight though, which makes sense that their group of rhinos is what's called a crash. Now the shaggy brown animals all the way in the back are called water bucks. They will get their name from the fact that they live near bodies of water. Guaharini, which means to go well. Safari was a blast. Yeah, it was really good. Oh. No elephants and no zebras, so that was a little bit of a bummer, but um, the animals that we did see were really like close to the car and everything, so that was cool. Yeah, we were really close to the rhino, the giraffes weren't too far away. Yeah. Um, yeah. We didn't see the black rhino at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, we actually didn't see a rhino. We didn't see an until, animal. Like, first two, <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. We, didn't <laughs> we didn't see a single animal until we finally got to the hippos, which like isn't that far into the ride, but it was it's pretty far. Cause usually you see some things like right at the beginning. But, yeah. Anyways. Right now we're by the uh, Lion King Harambe Theater, so we're gonna. I think we are, can go in the back way. To Pandora, we'll find out. Yeah, we're hoping to. We got about 15 minutes till our flights of passage. Yeah, so we're just um, gonna fast look pass. Around while it's still a little bit light at light out and see the uh, all the bioluminescent stuff come to life, and then do our fast pass and go from there. All right, cool.